So in terms of mud brick, the component is weak, is brittle, and they are very heavy. When earthquake comes, ground is shaking, and that shaking would uh, a structure that is heavier would absorb more energy, more force. So as a result, the components are weak, and then the whole structure, the whole all walls, as well as connection between walls and roof, is not well integrated. So as soon as the component starts to break, which usually start from top of the wall or some cracking, so the wall would give in and then the, the roof would come down. What do you think can be done differently going forward to decrease these kind of you know, widespread collapses? The reason those mud brick or uh, adobe are used in those areas, uh, other than uh, accessibility and uh, ease of construction, is that they are practical for, the, uh, for that, those areas. They have a very good uh, insulation properties. That is a very good thermal properties. They could save energy significantly in the winter time and in the summer time. So that's why people have used them. That's why uh, it has been easily uh, accessible and they were constructed. So uh, as a result of that, the solution needs to be multifaceted. It's not, again, is not an engineering problem. It's not only an engineering problem. Having said that, there are methods that could make uh, adobe structures considerably stronger in earthquakes, considerably stronger. Would they uh, resist earthquake and do not fail? Not really, everything has a limit. But you can make them considerably stronger, and as a result, you would get a significantly improvement if the, in the likelihood of people dying during earthquake. Uh, again, consider this. You are in a rural area. You have extremely limited resources. And someone, let's say, like me as an engineer, goes there and say, make these types of construction. Uh, even if they listen, they say, OK, but where do I get the resources to do that? Hmm. And they, I mean, the government really cannot go and make buildings for everybody beyond the financial and uh, economic resources, there is obviously need for technical resources, but they come by far later. If you don't have those, uh, again, economic resources, no engineer can solve problems.